How would a U.S. aircraft carrier defend against a swarm of drones numbering in the hundreds or even thousands? Let's review how the layered defense system of a modern carrier strike group performs against a swarm of small autonomous drones. Defending a U.S. aircraft carrier against a massive swarm of drones involves a carefully orchestrated and multi-layered strategy. The first line of defense lies in early detection, the carrier's advanced radar and sensor systems, such as the ANSPI-6, work alongside its integrated Aegis combat system. These systems coordinate with the carrier strike group to detect and track the swarm at the earliest possible moment, ensuring all defences are ready to engage. Electronic warfare comes next. The carrier's electronic countermeasures, including the ANSLQ-32 system, are capable of jamming the drone's communications and navigation, potentially rendering them ineffective. Deceptive tactics, such as broadcasting decoy signals, can mislead the drones away from the carrier or confuse their targeting systems. If the drones continue their approach, directed energy weapons come into play. Lasers like the Helio system or optical dazzling interdictor can disable drones with precision by targeting their sensors or critical components. Microwave-based systems, such as CHAMP, can disrupt or destroy the electronic circuits of entire groups of drones at once, neutralizing them before they pose a direct threat. For drones that make it through the electronic and energy defenses, kinetic systems are activated. The Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, CAWs, with its rapid-fire Gatling gun, provides an automated response to incoming threats. Surface-to-air missiles, like the Evolved Sea Sparrow missile, or SM-6, offer a broader range of engagement, eliminating drones at mid to long distances. Smaller caliber gun systems on the deck can provide a final layer of defense for closer threats. The carrier isn't acting alone. It operates as part of a carrier strike group, with escort ships like destroyers and cruisers contributing their own advanced defensive systems to the effort. These vessels extend the protective envelope and engage drones before they reach the carrier. Additionally, carrier-based aircraft, including FA-18 Super Hornets or MQ-25 drones, can intercept swarms further out at sea. In some scenarios, counter-swarm tactics are employed. Anti-drone drones, designed to intercept and neutralize hostile UAVs, can be deployed, adding a layer of offense against the attacking swarm. Autonomous systems powered by artificial intelligence analyze the attack pattern in real time, optimizing defensive strategies and ensuring quick, effective responses. The ship itself is built to endure assaults. Critical systems are hardened against electronic interference and direct attacks. In emergencies, physical countermeasures like chaff and flares can confuse drones using visual or radar targeting buying valuable time for other defences to react. This approach exemplifies the Navy's reliance on multi-domain defence, combining electronic, kinetic and cyber warfare capabilities to ensure the safety of the carrier and its strike group. In conclusion, it's as clear these legacy systems are designed for defence against large aircrafts and missiles. They stack poorly against drone swarm attacks. For example, a hostile submarine could surface 100 miles away from a carrier and deploy 500 drones that autonomously head for the carrier in a loose formation. This scenario would be very difficult for a modern carrier to resolve. Merits further exploration in future videos.